Hey guys, how's it going? Remington here. Today I'm with you for a tutorial on how to customize my first 2D intro for After Effects in Sony Vegas Pro. So let's start by extracting the files to our desktop. Now that they're extracted, I'm going to go ahead and drag them over here onto the center of the screen. So I'm going to do the uh, customization for After Effects first, and then we'll go ahead over to Sony Vegas. So first I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects. So now that After Effects is opened up, to edit the text we're going to come over here to our text layer called Your Name, we're going to double click it, and it should highlight it. Now you can just click up here and enter your own name. If you, or to stop editing, you just have to click the layer again. If you feel as though it's off center, you can come up here to this arrow tool, or press V, you can click it and drag it around. So now, if we kind of scroll through the timeline, you can see what happens. Or you can press numpad 0 to do a little preview render here. So it's going to finish up here. Might take a second, but it'll do it. So now you can see, here is what our intro is going to look like. Beautiful! So now we have to render it. To stop playing, just press numpad 0 again. So to render it, we're either going to come up here and press composition and go to add to render queue, or we'll press control M. Next, we're going to check that it's added to here, and we're going to come over here and press render. So now it should begin to press or begin to render. Since I pre-rendered it, it's going to go a bit faster. If you did not pre-render it, it'll take a bit longer than it is right now. So now it's done. I heard a little jingle play. So you can exit out now. You can save it or not save. Doesn't really matter. So here we have composition one. Mine is underscore two because I already have two compositions on my desktop, they're just on my other monitor. Now, this is a rendering without audio because I've noticed uh, After Effects kind of butchers the audio, it kind of adds, it makes it muffled. So when you are editing it, you have the music file right here that you're going to need to incorporate into it. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the Sony Vegas uh, version. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. Might take a second. Might also open up in my other monitor. You never know. Yep. So now this is opened up. If we press space, we can go ahead and get a little preview, or you can press play up here. The audio is included in this one. You guys just can't hear it. Now, with Sony Vegas, you don't get the text jitter blur effect because, um, or jiggy, I think it's called. But that's because it's uh, Sony Vegas, and of course Sony Vegas doesn't have all the things that After Effects has. It does, but I couldn't really recreate the effect in here. So if you go ahead and watch it. Now to edit the name in here, all you have to do is you have to come down here to this little film strip. It says Generated Media if you mouse over it. Click it, and type in your name. It should always stay centered. So if I type in a really long name and say your name's too big like that you can just highlight the text and change the font size down to 36 or if it's really really long you can change it down to 16 so I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to just plain Remington and we're gonna go ahead and make it 48 you can also make it bigger if you'd like so 52 kind of gives you an idea you can also enter a custom value So now we're just going to go ahead and select these. You shouldn't have to do that, but I always do it, it's just habit. We're going to come up here and click this little render button, alternatively you can go to file and render. And then I render in a WMV format, so I'm going to render in 6 megabytes or megabits per second, 720p video, and it's going out to my desktop, so now if I click render. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Looks like it's going to take eight, nine seconds. 
Yeah, nine seconds. So now if we go ahead and open it, we can go ahead and see. So now you can see that that works perfectly fine, and we have two fully customized intros. I also like to thank uh, Laszlo for his song, We Here We Are. I almost said we are here, but here we are. It's a great song. You should go check him out on SoundCloud and on YouTube. So that about sums it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Adios.